with this breaking news alert. The officers uh, knocked on the door several times. They contacted the attorney. They wanted to get permission to be inside. Uh, they had no basis for a search warrant or subpoena. And so based on that, the, the attorney said we, he wasn't going to allow that to be done. And so the officers couldn't do any more at that point. All right, breaking news we just learned. Nashville's chief of police says his staff did everything they could when a girlfriend of the Christmas morning bombing suspect reported that Anthony Warner was making bombs. This was over a year ago. It's a major development in this case, and many are wondering, how did police miss this? Yeah, we just heard from Metro Police Chief John Drake a little over an hour ago. He was not chief at the time of the warnings, but says he's learning new information about what his team knew at the time and says they tried for over a week to make contact with Warner, but never got to him. So our team of journalists committed to covering every angle of this major story. We continue working for you, gathering all the latest developments. Our team coverage starting at four with News 4's Carly Gordon. Carly. Yeah, as you mentioned, that press conference here wrapped up about an hour ago. The chief says, yes, they were told Warner was trying to make bombs. Yes, officers went to his home to try and see if it was true. But ultimately, they say they were unable to get inside that RV to see for themselves. Now, this was in August of 2019 when the reports were made. Police say Warner's girlfriend and an attorney both called them and talked about Warner making bombs. Police say they tried knocking on Warner's door. They tried calling him several times. They contacted the FBI who ran his name and said Warner was not on any of their watch lists. After that, the chief said officers continued to try and contact Warner and surveil the area. Ultimately, they say they did not have enough to get a search warrant. Chief Drake says their hands were essentially tied. I don't believe that was a lapse in judgment. Maybe that could have been follow up after, but what are we following up on it? You have a, uh, a lady who said that this guy is capable of making bombs that he is. The officers try, they knock on the door, they turn it over to hazardous devices who try uh, to ascertain if a bomb has been made. They turn it over to specialized investigation who contacts the FBI. And so if officers go back to his home continually with nothing else and they knock on his door and, and nothing ever comes out of it, he never grants uh, uh, consent or we never determine anything that gives us probable cause to get a search warrant, then the narrative is that we're harassing him. Okay, so we also wanted to know why it took so long for investigators to release the, this information to the media and to the public. Chief Drake says that he didn't find out about the 2019 report until Sunday. He says the fact that all of their phone lines have been down contributed to the delay. But you'll recall at a press conference on Monday, we asked if Warner had ever been on investigators' radar. The TBI, FBI, and Metro Police were all there, and the TBI director said Warner had not been on their radar. So the chief finds out about this on Sunday. We wanted to know why we as the media did not get the report until Tuesday. The chief tells us since he got the report, he's been researching to try and figure out what they had on their hands so that they could answer questions here today. And Carly, who else knew about this prior police report before it was released to the media? Yeah, we asked that question here today. The chief says he did call the mayor to give him a heads up before releasing it to us. Carly Gordon. All right, let's take a listen to that 